Nathan for Belens, okay. <laughs> it's not the first time that's been said. <laughs> I think I'm glad that's replaced Watson for Ketamine as a talking point. <laughs> Welcome to Who Said That? Five comedians armed with all we've got left at the moment. Wi-Fi, an out-of-date iPhone, and their powerful wit, ability to lie, and knowledge of each other's terrible, terrible brains. Styling in today, we have Angela Barr. Hello. We have Nathan Caton. Squirning. We have a Larry Morgan. Hey, yeah. And finally, we have writer, comedian, Bristol City fan, and 75% red wine. It's Mark Watson. Not today, though. Doing a panel show sober, it's come to this. <laughs> I didn't get such a detailed intro. Yeah, but most of it was about my alcoholism, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fair play. <laughs> I'm the one sat in front of two bars, so I should probably keep my mouth shut. <laughs> we did a gig once years ago, Mark, where you had a, a wine glass that you could fit an entire bottle of wine in? Very difficult to confirm or deny that, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> but today, I wrote that, and then Barnsley is sat in front of, like she said, two bars. Um, and Larry, what are you drinking in the mug, Larry? What have you got in there? Uh, it's gin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A massive mug of gin. And Nathan Caton is drinking... Jack Daniels honey. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, furious. I've completely misjudged this. <laughs> well, like, do you know what? I'm sure the joy of lockdown, Watson, is that there could probably be a little bit of booze come to you uh, within about 30 seconds, I reckon. Uh, I Listen, I wouldn't rule out that I will have a drink in my hand by round two. <laughs> <laughs> my lockdown goal is to get my alcohol tolerance back where it was when I was 25. Doing all right. Yeah, they say that you try to learn a new skill in this period, don't they? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> my time wisely. This is the game. Basically, each contestant is going to take it in turn to ask a question. Uh, the answers will be texted uh, directly to me and only me. I will then read them out and the questioner will receive points for every answer they pair with an answerer. Is everyone happy with that as a format? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yes. Yeah, it'll get messy, but we'll we'll start simply, and then we'll just see uh, what happens. Angela Barnes, you are up yes. in round one. So, do you want okay. to ask the first question, please, Barnesy? You are going away for a month, and your parents are house-sitting your house. What do you hide to make sure they never find it? And porno pornography and sex toys are a given. OK, so uh, the rest of you, if you could text your answer to me, that would be absolutely magnificent. Is this something you've given thought to? Well, my parents are pretty liberal. Um, I mean, my dad ran a sex shop for a living, so I wouldn't bother hiding the pornography from him because he supplied most of it. Um, well, I have to sort of do the opposite, and that is that if my mum comes to stay, I'd have to put out some of the ornaments that she's bought us over the years that are usually hidden. Oh, do you know what? I'm now looking behind you to see if there is anything yeah. in there that could have been a, a Mummy Barnes ornament that could have... Uh... I don't know if there is, actually. I think we've yeah, got... you've done a those. pretty good job hiding all those. And also, I, I have noticed as well by looking that there are no uh, sex toys on display either, so you've hidden those. Yeah, I know the viewers might be of a sensitive disposition. Nobody wants to think about that. Oh, I've got some... Uh... I've got some answers that have uh, that have come in. Okay. So the first answer I've had through, all the ketamine I've been looting from hospitals over the years. <laughs> <laughs> answer number two, um, considering my parents have been split for over 30 years, I'd hide them free from each other. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, and the final one is uh, nothing. I am what I am, and it's time my parents respected my life decisions. <laughs> Suck it wow. up, Brenda. Suck it up, Brenda. Suck it up, Brenda. Right, Suck who looks like their up. mum's called Brenda? I suppose you've got to think to yourself, which of those three looks like a looter? Well, I was thinking more which one looks like they've spent a lot of time in hospital, and I think the one who probably looks frailest is Mark Watson. I, but... <laughs> I had no doubt where that sentence was heading. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but I also feel like his mum would be called Brenda. But I'm not sure Mark Watson actually, I think he's a mummy's boy. I don't think he'd stand up to his mum in that way. Um, so I'm going to say that Mark Watson's been looting ketamine. I'm going to use my Sherlock Holmes skills here. And uh, I've seen Nathan Caton do stand up. And I know he, I'm sure he talks about a stepfather in his stand up. Okay. So I reckon his parents are split. So I'm going to go Nathan Caton. So you've gone Mark Watson for Ketamim. Yeah, always. Uh, That's He does the best deals. <laughs> and then you've gone yeah. for Larry. Nothing. I am what I am. And it's time my parents respected my life decisions. Suck it up, Brenda. That's what you're going for? Yeah, Larry looks like she's a woman who knows her own mind. I'm not convinced her mum's called Brenda because she's got a lovely welsh sounding name and i'm not sure brenda's that welsh but yeah i'm happy with that i'm locking that down yeah locking it down <laughs> as it were and larry morgan is your mum called brenda no uh, brenda's a beautiful old celtic <laughs> name though for <coughs> the voice it's, um, it's not me sorry uh what's oh. your mum's name Oh, Stephanie. Uh, uh, Mark, Mark Watson's mum's called Brenda, isn't she? Mark Watson. Yep. Uh, was your answer uh, all the ketamine you've been looting over the years? Uh, no, despite the fact that I look as if I might require quite a lot of hospitalisation. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I've actually looted zero ketamine in my time. But you are who you are and Brenda needs to respect your life decisions. That was my answer, although what I did to try and throw Barnes off track is Brenda's not my mum's real name either, it's Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> so, so mine was a sort of trick answer wrapped in a trick answer, if you will. So, Angela Barnes, by a process of elimination, you did get one right. Good work, Columbo, man. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I also thought the same thing, because my parents too divorced when I was really little, and I was thinking that what I'd have to hide is probably the bread knives. Um, <laughs> At the end of that first round, uh, Angela Barnes has one point. I am, however, in a position to give out bonus points. I was tempted to give a point to Mark Watson uh, for the little double lie in his answer. But if I'm honest, I'm going to Larry Morgan because her mum's called Stephanie. And I just find... Ah. I find that absolutely incredible that uh, Larry's mum is called Stephanie. Oh, We're allowed to breed outside of Wales now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, my grandma's name is Stephanie. Is most of the point scoring going to hinge on how many people called Stephanie you know, Oliver? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? How many people called Stephanie do you know, Mark? This is, this is what I'm panicking about. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that round, it is zero points to Nathan Caton. It is zero points to Mark Watson. Uh, it is one point to Larry Morgan. And it is one point to Angela Barnes. And we are uh, we are cracking straight on to round two now. Nathan, uh, it is your question for round two. My question is, what is the best song to lose your virginity to? You've asked the question, Nath, so I'm going to ask to ask it right back to you. Did you lose your virginity to a song? No, there was, there was no song playing. I wish there was, but there wasn't. It was just very awkward. And then it's like me getting away as soon as possible. Is there a song that you would have chosen if you could have had... Uh, any song? Is it Ode to Joy that goes dun na 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 bum bum? Is that, <laughs> is that, oh, no, is that the 1512 Overture? I get no. Oh, what's yet? Yeah, round two, Mark Watson's got the one. Hey! hey. <laughs> Welcome to the outside, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have a look and see if I've got some answers. I have indeed. Nathan, are you ready for this? I've run out of drink. Do you want to go and get a drink? Before I give you the am answers, I, am I allowed to get more drink? You can get more drink, mate. Of course you can. Okay. Give me two seconds. No. <laughs> While he's gone, uh, can I just say, I'm going to make a get. Oh, he's back. Okay. I was just going to say, these are really difficult answers. Oh, muck about. Okay. <laughs> oh, how hard is this the whole fuck it? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Okay, this is answer one. So your question was, what's the best song to lose? your virginity to. Answer one is, you're in the army now by status quo. <laughs> if you can't get hard thinking about killing foreigners, what is going to do it? Um, uh, answer number two, uh, the hokey cokey. 
specifically for the instructive elements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Answer number three. Um, I don't know what's a good soundtrack to WKD Blue and Regret. <laughs> <laughs> what's your gut instinct straight away? Okay, my gut instinct is WKD Blue. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not. It's not Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, which, is this another Brenda situation now, eh? Oh, uh -huh. Don't do that! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, WKD Blue. I have a feeling, right? That's like my generation-ish. Like, like 16, starting to drink. How old are you, please, Larry? 31. You're 31. How old are you? Don't broadcast that, yeah. Uh, how old are you, Nathan? <laughs> 35. 35, so there you go. So you and uh, Larry, that's a similar uh, a similar generation. And Angela Barnes, how old are you? 43. So you're sort of in the middle of the two of them, so that doesn't help in any way, <laughs> shape or form. Sorry there. <laughs> okay, so uh, WKD Blue, I'm, I'm going to guess, I'm going to go Angela. In the army now, uh, I'm going to go Watson. And hokey cokey, uh, Larry. Uh, yeah. Can you put your hand up if your answer was what you lost your virginity to? <laughs> <laughs> we have Larry Morgan admitted that there was no soundtrack, uh, but the the accoutrements, the props were. Blue Wicked and Regret. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought you were bluffing, Mark. Over. Oh, I love that you think I'm young enough for Blue Wicked to have been something I would have drunk as a teenager. I think I was about 25 when that shit came out. Oh, never, oh. Too late. I'm too, never too late. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all a case of uh, whether Mark Watson would lose his virginity to in the army now, because that's what you went for. Um, Mr. Watson. It was my answer. Kate yeah. <laughs> I, um, I went for the joke about getting hard thinking of killing foreigners because it's a very off-brand thing for me to say and I thought that might uh, nice. that might throw it. Uh, just to let you know, off-brand professionally, not personally. Um, <laughs> real life, I meant every word of it, yeah. <laughs> and Angela Barnes was obviously the hokey-cokey then. Yep. Yeah, well, I thought that might throw people off the scent as it's very male instructions to in, out, in, out and shake it all about. Let's not forget, Barnsley, that that song then moves on to put your left leg in, your left leg out. <laughs> I was a very broad-minded teen, what can I say? So, uh, at the end of that round, uh, Nathan Caton has one point uh, from um, guessing one answer correctly, so well done, Nathan. And I do get the chance again to give out a bonus point. Um, and I think I'm going to go... Uh, I think I'm going to go for Mark Watson and in the army now. And I'll tell you why. Because... Is it because then we'll all have one point and that's fair? No. <laughs> I do think the rhythmic strumming of a status quo song would probably help. Yeah, I like think... most men, it only has three moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit three chords where sax is concerned. <laughs> Uh, Larry, uh, it's round three and it's your question. Your question, please, Larry. You've just been accepted into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. What's the first spell you want to learn? So I'm going to ask you straight away now. No, I'm not even going to ask you. I'm just going to say Hufflepuff. I'm going Hufflepuff for you. Fuck oh, hold you. On. <laughs> I did the test because you can do the official test. Um, okay. Not... The magic one with the hat, but there's like an online official test that J.K. <laughs> Rowling does. Um, and I tried so hard to be a Gryffindor that I cheated. Um, and so they put me into Slytherin. How did they know? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That they knew you were cheating and so you went into Slytherin? Straight into Slytherin. I don't think I trust anyone who thinks that they're Gryffindor. I am a uh, Hufflepuff until I die, all the way. Oh, you are quite Hufflepuff. I, oh, now I feel bad for being so <laughs> repulsed at the idea of being Hufflepuff. 
I've got a scarf and everything. Okay, I've got yeah. some answers for you. Uh, okay. This is uh, this person wants a spell uh, to get rid of Belens, who constantly add me to pointless WhatsApp groups. <laughs> um, and what I would like to say uh, to everyone is that this entire format is based around WhatsApp groups. <laughs> <laughs> this hasn't been pointless um, though. This is this is the first constructive use of WhatsApp has ever been. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the next yeah. one is yeah. um never read Harry Potter, uh, but I've made one up. It's Ignoramus, a spell that makes stupid people realise they are stupid. The final one is Identicus yeah. Shazama. Uh, you point your wand at someone and it tells you who the fuck they are and which Edinburgh you met them drunk. <laughs> and Emmy, you look like you're just ready to go then. You look like you were kind of... No, I'm not... Can I... T honestly, I'm at such a massive disadvantage here because I don't know any of you. You've dragged me in last minute to make the celebrities look good, Mark. I know what the game <laughs> is. Also, I can't see any of you because I don't understand technology. <laughs> So I can't tell if you've got shifty eyes or not. I'll answer that for you. Mark Watson has shifty eyes. Does he? I'll make a note of that. <laughs> yeah. Also, Mark just to say, the word celebrities is doing a fair bit of lifting. In yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the only thing I've learned from this experience is that they're all heavy drinkers. Oh, yeah, again, doesn't help. <laughs> doesn't help. I think ignor the ignoramus spell yeah. is... Maybe, maybe Mark Watson, because is that Latin? And is he smart? I'm not prepared to give away either of those answers, Hilary. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a smart answer. Ah. Okay, I think the bell ends one. It won't yeah. be Angela. I think that's Nathan. Nathan for bell ends, okay. <laughs> it's not the first time that's been said. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm glad to replace Watson for ketamine as a talking point. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ignoramus spell is Mark. Okay. And I think the identical Shazama is Angela. Nathan. Yeah. What's your spell, please, buddy? My spell is uh, how to get rid of bellends who create pointless <laughs> WhatsApp groups. <laughs> <laughs> so that is one point. Okay. So now we've basically got uh, someone who gets drunk in Edinburgh uh, and can't remember meeting people and someone who wants to get uh, rid of all the idiots. Uh, Can I just them... say, Ellery, if you did know us personally, that would be such an easy choice to make between the two of us. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Mark Watson, let's just say it how it is, buddy. Uh, as well as getting drunk and not remembering people's names... Uh, in Edinburgh, have you got other tactics to try and remember people's names? Yeah, I've got one simple tactic. I've called everyone mate for the past 15 years or so. No exception. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Barnes has never read Harry Potter, but has still gone for Ignoramus. We're in lockdown now, so you could you could start reading them. I could, but I'll refer you to my earlier point. I'm a grown up. <laughs> Nathan, have you read Harry Potter? Never. That's why I didn't name it. I didn't know. I, I've never read or seen anything of Harry Potter. I was I, always the same age as Harry when he came out. Yeah. I also did Harry read... came out. When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> have they ever translated them into Welsh? Are there Welsh language versions of them? They have. Do you want to know what Hufflepuff is in Welsh? Yes, please. Whifty Puff. <laughs> <laughs> No, on the Teletubbies. That's such a better name. Isn't it amazing? Such a dignified you... name for your people, Mark. <laughs> have you read have you read them in Welsh or have you just read them in English? I I, I read the um I read the I don't okay. The reason I'm stumbling is because I don't want to get too political about Welsh translators because I think we I probably know most of them, but <laughs> is a shit translator, so I could only read the first one. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Who knew that this, who knew that the one thing that we'd have to edit out from this recording today <laughs> is this. Is Larry burning her bridges with the Welsh translation industry? But honestly, can you cut that out? There's so much beef in Welsh translation. This is going to be like the new Tiger King. <laughs> no, I'll get into trouble because everyone thinks it about but no one said it out loud because she <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> <laughs>
Like she does my hope for fun. <laughs> She's really cut out. Well, do you know what? I'm going to give I'm going to give uh, the bonus point in that round uh, to Mark Watson for the only person apart from Larry who has read uh, the Harry Potter books. Uh, actually, in the, wait a minute. I um. You didn't ask him if he had. No, I all I've done is like bits and pieces of it with my kids. Uh, I'm taking. I'm taking your bonus point away, and I'm not giving a bonus point to any of you. I feel I could claim it in in all justice. <laughs> <laughs> if the scoring system starts to go mental, then what sort of a game is this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go into round uh, round four, uh, Mr. Watson. Uh, your question, please. You've been kidnapped. Um, your kidnappers will let you tweet one thing so that your followers know that you are not okay. What is the tweet which would let everyone know that you were being held by kidnappers? You have to say something which sounds so unlike you that people think something's up with Nathan. Oh, uh, okay. Matt Watson, do you think you'd ever be in a situation where someone would kidnap you? I'd be flattered. Um, <laughs> I think you're a kidnap target if you're seen as um, having access to sort of ransom wealth, aren't you? I reckon my parents would probably, uh, they could put a few hundred quid together to recapture me, but is that enough? I feel like kidnappers are looking for the, I think you'd kidnap Whitehall if you've got a kidnapper comedian. Yeah, although <laughs> although you're uh, you're good friends with Alex Horn and he's got all that Taskmaster wealth now, and I imagine with his personal security, it would be easier to kidnap you than get to Horn. Look, I like to think that uh, if if I was kidnapped, maybe someone like Horn would start just giving for the ransom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have got some answers uh, that have come in. Uh, here we go. First one I've got for you, Mark, is. Decided to do Movember this year. Hashtag feminism. If it helps for me to read out how this person has spelt feminism. Yeah, I'd like all the information I, I can get, I think, Oliver. F-E-M-M-I-N-I-S-M. -M -I 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 right. So, but that, that could be a mistake or it could be a decoy or anything, basically. Mm. It could be a decoy. Mm. It absolutely could be a decoy. Answer number two, Stephanie, come and get me, please. <laughs> Final answer is, I've just cooked something from Jamie Oliver's 30-minute meals. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> right. I love the fact that uh, you've got pens and a sort of writing clues and all sorts of stuff. I think coming to finish second or third, Oliver, the Jamie Oliver thing is key. If I feel like I know Barnsley quite well, but I'm just going through my archives of everything she's ever said that to me, and I can't remember Jamie Oliver coming into it. But then I've never asked her. I've never asked her who do you think is best at 30 minute meals. I really regret that now. <laughs> <laughs> the Movember thing only really makes sense from Nathan, I think, because if either of the women did that, it would be, I don't know. Quite apart from anything else, I'm struggling to picture Nathan with a moustache, and I'm looking at him quite hard to try and do that. Do you know what? I'm a I'm a 43 year old woman. Please don't look that closely at my upper lip. That's all I ask. <laughs> Your instinct has got to be to go for Ellery for the Stephanie answer, and Barnsley is is anti Jane Oliver, and that's just one facet of Barnsley's opinions that somehow I haven't heard yet. Well, uh, you'll be pleased to know that in every round, uh, everyone has only got one answer right, and that doesn't change with this one because Mark, you've only got one answer uh, right. Um, I love a format this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, blame the format, blame the players. Um, <laughs> I scoring games. Well, let's just go straight away. Uh, Larry Morgan, um, you've decided to do Movember this year. Uh, well, yeah, if I was to alert people that something was very, very wrong. <laughs> that, that's a very good point. And deliberately misspelt feminism? Sure. <laughs> Nathan, uh, you've asked uh, for, was it your gran was called Stephanie? Indeed, Grandma Stephanie. I forgot there was more than one Stephanie in the mix, of course, yeah. <laughs> I thought you might have thought that. That's why I put Stephanie, because I thought, <laughs> you're going to go for Ellery. The one point you did get was uh, Angela Barnes cooked something from Jamie Oliver's 30 Minute Meals. And, Barnsley, can I ask... Is the giveaway nom nom nom? Yeah, I know something was up. The nom 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 is a dead giveaway to anyone that knows me. I've never 
willingly written nom 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 and also people close to me know that i i hate cooking more than anything and the only thing i hate more than cooking is following a recipe book now say things like just use your paring knife i've got two knives i've got a bread knife and the other knife yeah <laughs> before that round mark watson was on one uh, nathan was on one uh, Barnsley was on one and Larry was on two, but Mark Watson is now on two and I'm giving a bonus yeah, point to Angela and Nathan as we go into the final round. It is two points each, which means this final round is the deciding round. Bit of jeopardy. So speaking of jeopardy, I noticed that my laptop is down to 8% battery, so I'm just going to get a charger. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of uh, round four, it is... Uh, through some sort of weird system of uh, alchemy, it is two points to everyone. So as we go into the final quickfire round, uh, it's all to play for. So I get to ask you something I've always wanted to know, uh, all of you, for all of my life. Uh, if I match your question wrong, then you get a point. Uh, Angela, everyone is going to text their answer to you and then you can read out the answers you can uh do impressions of those people if you want so uh if you want to do if you want to do a fake welsh accent for a larry let's face it that's worked for some of us in our careers for a while <laughs> Thanks, <Robert. laughs> when are you going to drop this bristolian bullshit by the way <laughs> Uh, here is my question. Make me a cocktail, and then I want you to name it after the first thing you want to do after the lockdown in the style of sex on the beach or to go and see a tequila sunrise. OK, I've got all the answers. Oh, oh OK, this is good. So, uh, Barnsley, do you want to yeah. uh, uh, give me an answer and I'll see, uh, I'll see who I can guess? Your first cocktail is called... The waking up without anxiety. I'm going to say straight away, I think, uh, that that's not Mark Watson, uh, because uh, I don't think the end of the lockdown will get rid of his anxiety. So I'm going to go a Larry Morgan for that one. Your next one is called The Hunker Down. And it is explained as I was born to lockdown and I don't see why that should ever change. Do you know what? I think that's you. I think that's uh, I think that's you, Angela Barnes. I think because uh, you love a bunker uh, and hunker sounds like bunker, so that's my logic there. <laughs> okay, your next one is called "Scream into the Sea," and it is <laughs> gin, whiskey, and wine. <laughs> uh, Mark Watson. Mark Watson. <laughs> <laughs> and your final. Is called Lose My Shit in Nando's. <laughs> um, I am, well, I, I mean, it was the last one, but I'll go for Nathan anyway. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You have two correct guesses. Oh. Do you want right. to know which two you've got correct? Oh, uh, yes, please. Okay, the ones you have correct, well, that will then give away the two you haven't got correct, of course. <laughs> but, <laughs> do you have right uh, Indeed, hunker down is me. I didn't even think about a hunker rhyming with bunker. That must have been subconscious, but there you have it. Um, waking up without anxiety is Mark Watson. Yeah. Okay. And you might be right, Mark. It might be that I don't um, succeed in getting rid of anxiety, but I definitely will be a bit more relaxed in the mornings when there's not this sort of uh, killer virus doing the rounds, I think. Um, well, at the end of the final round, uh, Mark Watson gets a point, and Larry get a point for fooling me. Uh, so the joint winners of this episode of Who Said That are Mark Watson and Larry Morgan. So uh, well done, you two. Congratulations. Larry, I'm high-fiving you across the screen, but obviously you can't see any of us, but I am. Oh, <laughs> did that work? That's about right, yeah. Oh, good. Thank you very much uh, for playing. Uh, Nathan Caton, Angela Barnes, and our joint winners... Uh, on this episode of Who Said That, uh, Mark Watson and Mary Morgan. Thank you very much for watching Who Said That and uh, watch us again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>